Hey everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. Today is Thrifted Thursday. So I had this going on before I got pregnant and it's basically me thrifting. To, sometimes you go with me, sometimes I just thrift and bring it home and show you the goods. And then I post a bunch of stuff to my website for you guys to purchase. And a lot of this stuff I keep myself, I'm not gonna even lie. And I mean, I know you guys are like, oh, Sammy, you're not looking all gorga with some makeup and stuff, but who does their makeup for thrifting, okay? Okay, all right, so let's just hop right into this. I went to Salvation Army, I went to Savers, which is where I scored, and this is collective, you guys. I did not just like get all of this in one day. It's been sitting in my car, and I was like, I'm either gonna do one big one or split them up, but I want to get these organized. So we're, this is going to be a long one. Make sure you guys go ahead and head to the website, unicorndustdesigns.com now, because people will already be on purchasing stuff. So if you see it, make sure you got that other browser set to hop on. So some things that I found, so I'm going to start one of you guys told me a subscriber was like, you know what? You got to go to city thrift because on Sundays they have like a specific color tag and it's 75 cents. So I finally went there and the blue tag was 75 cents. Not one gosh darn thing in that place had a blue tag on it. I, I mean like I am not even joking, not one thing. But I did find two things. I don't know where the other one is, but I did find this. And this was $14.99 and I thought it was a great deal. Now it is pretty heavy. It doesn't have any markings on it. So I don't really know what kind it is. I don't know if it's authentic. I don't know what is the difference between authentic. I'm not an antique dealer. Okay, you guys, I don't know the history behind everything, but if you guys do, you guys know, drop it in the comments. So I don't know if I'll be putting this on the website just because it's so heavy. It's gonna be a lot in shipping. But if you are interested and you don't mind shipping, then let me know. Um, I might put it in my booth if it doesn't go on the website. Or I might keep it because it's a nice neutral color. Um, I also found, so I don't, I feel like there's two things I found there, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and move on to the other thing. So at Savers, I found this awesome enamel picture. It is a nice cream no i feel like it is it's like plaster you know chalk paint plaster from waverly that's what i would say this is it has some like chippiness already going on with the black it doesn't have any kind of brand name and i got that for 4.99 i also found this picture which i couldn't pass up because it was just pure white. I loved the ridges around it. And it was just a really classic, nice glass pitcher. And it was actually crate and barrel. And I got that for $5.98 at Salvation Army. I don't know. I just really like the classic look of this. And the last pitcher I got, and I feel like this was a score for $3.98 was this and sorry it's my light ring that is making some of this stuff look yellow this is definitely like a creamy tan color almost like a sand and all of this is etched into the picture and then it has some coloring here so i thought that was a really good deal for that and i really loved the like farmhouse colors on that picture so Score on the pictures. I promise I don't have an obsession with them, but I mean, I couldn't beat it. Now, anytime I find a rolling pin, do not ask to see my rolling pin collection because it's absolutely ridiculous. But I saw this one. It was $1.98. It's in great condition. I don't think it's like crazy old. It is older, but I always get rolling pins if I see them. Such a great deal on the $1.98. Now let's keep going. You guys. All right. You guys, the lighting is so bad. We'll figure it out though. This the whole basement is new to me, so we just need to figure out where we need to be. Um also at Savers, and I thought these were a great price. This one was $8.99 and this one was $6.99. There is um 
them. It says they have been finished by hand in the finest of craft. This item has been made and finished by hand by the finest of craftsmen. Each piece is unique and may have individual characteristics that will add charm to your home. So I don't know what brand these are, but I was either thinking to DIY these or leave them as is. I'm not sure because I love the chippy. I love the neutral brown and kind of like cream tannish color on them. I do. I just didn't know if I wanted them a color. So you guys let me know down in comments, should I paint these or just leave them as is? Let me know. Um, I sh I'm gonna show you these. These I'm keeping for myself and they're gonna go in my bookshelf. I was walking Salvation Army and I was getting ready to leave. The back look really scarce, like where they keep their furniture. Uh, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to go back there anyway. And sitting on one of the vanities were all of these little oil lamps. And oh my word, look at these. Look at this amber one. The little detail. Oh my gosh. $4.99. This doesn't even have a chip in it or anything. It I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. $4.99 for all of them. Not all of them, each, I want to say. Then we have this clear one. Please tell me why I can envision this on a farmhouse marble countertop in the kitchen with like a, like this color, not this deep though, but like this color basket. I said not this deep. It would be like a low one with like one of those scrubber sponges and um and like a soap or something i don't know why this reminds me something clean and white and then my favorite of course the green green is my favorite color and look at how gorgeous that is these are 4.99 each and all i could do was envision them in my bookshelf with all of my vintage books so i knew that i had to get them I'm like mm. These aren't going anywhere. These are staying at home with me. All right, where else should we go? This I thought would be so much fun. I know somebody would enjoy this for a vignette for Easter. Look at all of the fun details in here. Would this not make the most perfect spring vignette on somebody's table, kitchen, coffee table doesn't matter this is going to be awesome and then this was 398 at salvation army i'm like where do i put all this stuff i don't know i never leave bump pants especially if they are nice and de-stressed like this and the cream color was gorgeous and then this it's it's brown but it has like an orange you could see it undertone and again old has all of the chippiness, the goodness. And these were $4.99 each, which is a little bit more than I've usually found them for. But you guys, everything is going up in price. So, I mean, it didn't shock me. And I loved the colors. Like, even this one, like, has the little, I don't know, like, speckles and stuff in it. A lot of people use these to, like, like Upcycled by Brie. She had in her old kitchen for the longest time, she hung a bunch of different ones on the top of like her cabinets. Um, you guys have seen me make a floral arrangement with one of them. I've also made a tiered tray with one of them. So tons of things that you can do with bump pants. I also found Edna's book collection. And I'm gonna go back because I'm gonna buy some for you guys too to shop on the website. I was being selfish. My girlfriend, Joanna was like, Sammy, why didn't you buy just all of them? Cause there's other people that have a love for books like you do. And I was like, <laughs> I wasn't thinking of other people. I was thinking about me and my love for books. So this came from Edna's, uh, <laughs> book collection. And no, what that reminds you guys, whenever I see people's book collections, are something that have names on them. I'm like, they're damn kids. Probably sold off all their stuff. And I told John, I go, our kids are going to sell all of my stuff, my entire collection. And that's what it reminds me of whenever I see like somebody's stuff has been sold. I'm like, they're damn kids. Probably sold all of it. But the fun thing about Edna's collection 
was it was all murder mystery. And um, for those of you that are new to my channel, I am an avid book collector and I, I, I love and I enjoy reading books, obviously as a, a mom of three and then the business and life. I have not been able to read, but my goal is that when my kids are out of the house one day, I'm gonna write all of my books, all of them down on a list, and then I'm gonna go through and read all of them, and hopefully I can read all of them before I die. But anyways, um, these were all murder mystery books, and the entire time I've collected books, I don't, I rarely see a murder mystery book. I actually don't think I have one that is a vintage book. And these all range from like the 1920s to 1940s. And they were just really like old. And I loved like this one is the glass triangle, the circular study with like, look at these. This one, wolf and man's clothing. And I always look at like every aspect of the book. The spine, this one's death in the back seat. And I found, you guys, I mean, death lights and candles, the case of the counterfeit eye, death blow hill, the house in the mist, the, the patient in room 18, like all of these, I feel like I want to try and read now. Seven were veiled, like look at the spine on that one. Sorry, it's a little shiny. And these were all $2.99 each. And you guys, I selfishly got all of them for myself. Miss Pinkerton. Some of you guys might have read this. The Barotique Mystery. Oh my gosh, please don't wake up the baby. The Bat. And I thought this one was really cool, like the cover of it. And then lastly, Crime Club Selection, Rendezvous with the Past. And all came from Edna's book collection. So drop a comment down below if I need to go back and pick some up and put them on the website. Those were, you guys, prices have gone up because the last time I went to Salvation Army and got books, I kid you not, and it was with Brie like two years ago, I think it was, um, it was before the baby, so not two years, but I feel like the books were like 60 cents to 99 cents for a hardback. Now they're $2.99 each for a hardback. I was shocked, but I couldn't pass those up. They're vintage, they're great quality, and they're definitely things that I would read. So if you are somebody that loves books, comment down below with a little book emoji. Next, I found this, and anything that's cast iron, I purchase and I love and it does pretty well and I thought this one was so interesting because I've never seen one that has the little balls the chain to hold down your book pages and I thought that was just really unique and it's so funny that I found this one because John and I went to another savers on Sunday and they had like a plastic one that looked exactly like this, like exactly to the T, but it was plastic. And I was like, nope. After finding that cast iron one, I mean, it's beautiful. It has the kickstand to it. And then both the chains and the balls are attached. So absolutely beautiful. And I did pay $8.99 for this, but for the cast iron, it's well worth it. This could look cute in any um, decor style of a kitchen. Let's put that there. Some stuff that I got to like DIY was this. I thought this was really cool. It was $2.99 piece of wood. I thought this is gonna look amazing with molds and maybe um, some decoupage paper or something like that. I could just envision it. If you guys are wondering what these spots are, I got bit in the garage and I don't, and they itch and it burns, okay? Like a sunburn, so if you guys are wondering. But I got this to DIY for myself. I got this for John. However, you guys, he might be willing to part with it because he was like, I don't know what I would do with it because the drawer, like the little cubbies are so small. But this is definitely, it has cobwebs in it. Um, definitely vintage and it kills me, you guys, when you see the price that they had it at the garage sale. 
and then the price that Savers puts on it for $8.99. But you know what? They still got somebody like me to pay the $8.99. But it was just unique. John likes this kind of stuff. But again, oh, look. It already has a hanger. Even better. I told John to take like his screws and stuff and put them in baby food jars. We, we have those right now. And then put them where the twist top is facing that way so you could see what screws you have in them. I thought that would be a great idea. But if he passes on this, I will list this as well. This is like really nice and great quality. They even put little backers on here as well so it doesn't like hit or move when you hang it up. So that was really nice of them. So that was $8.99. And then you guys, uh, it looks like the, oh, I probably did that. Broke the little, yeah, I did that. Yeah, so these were at Salvation Army the week before and they weren't 50% off, so I left them there. And when I came back, the um, white tag was 50% off, so I picked them up. And these I'm keeping for myself to DIY and they were $3. And they're from Hobby Lobby. They're spring collection. I'm sure somebody bought them at like 90% off and was like, uh, what am I gonna do with these? So I bought these because I'm, totally going to probably repaint them. And there was two of them. So I bought both of them because all I could think of was like, oh, I want to like repaint those. You could put a bunny picture in there or something and it will totally transform these black and white photo frames. So those were three bucks each. I got this to DIY as well, which I think I'm going to do tonight on um, Facebook Live. Haven't decided, but I think I'm going to upcycle this on tonight's video and it was $3.99 but it already had the hooks on the back um and then this is a raised like paint job but I could quickly sand that off if I could find my sander and this will make for a really easy flip because everything is like already set to go for me so that was $3.99 so hopefully this is giving you guys of ideas too if you guys are somebody that likes to do DIYs with me, um, you know, just different ideas that you can get when you're at the thrift store. So I found a Lazy Susan, $4.99. It has the grippy, it was from Ikea, so who knows how much it actually costs. But $4.99, it was plain wood. I could decoupage this, I can put molds on it. I mean, there's so many things that we could do with it, paint it, whatever, but for $4.99, this is awesome. So. If there's things like this, you guys, that you're like, I can never find those things at my thrift store, put it on your website. Let me know because, I mean, most of the blanks I just get for myself to DIY with. Um, I found this at Salvation Army for 50% off. So this one was $1.50. And it's actually like more like a copper color. And the little things come off. And I thought this would just be so much fun to put little molds on and paint it and put a little topper on. I just thought that could be cute. So for $1.50, I was like, yep, yeah, I'll get that for a DIY project. Found this for $2.99. Perfect chippiness all the way around. But I was thinking of it for a DIY. So I was found this perfect Hank. Oh my God. He's, oh my gosh. I mean, is going to wake up the baby. Found this and it fit perfectly on top. And I thought, how cute would that be with, hold on. I'm back. How cute would that be with a bird's nest in there and some eggs? Or if you have a bunny or something like that, I thought that could be really cute. I mean, it's actually cute the color it is, but I was thinking more of like a farm fresh color or something. And Hank's a butthead. Um, got my energy drink in here. Uh, so, okay. And why did I let him outside? Because now you guys are just going to hear him bark. Wave. Okay. Found this copper pan. It was in great condition. Like, usually when I find these, the tops are like the screw... The knob on the top is loose, but this one is in amazing condition. 
and I found it for $8.99. Now, I don't usually clean the copper when I post it on the website. And the reason I don't do that is because not everybody likes it shiny. Not everybody's going to use it for its intended purpose. So I sell it as you see it here. I do not clean any of the copper up because I know for me, um, I like it dirty and vintage looking and I usually don't do what it, I'm supposed to do with it. Like I wouldn't use that to cook with, you know, kind of thing. And that's the same thing with this one. This one was $4.99 and I love it. Love, love, love it. Do you see, like you could hardly see it in here, but like it has some of like the turquoise patina. It's so old, has the wood handle. It's not chipped. Now it doesn't have the top to it, but I love, what does it say? Made in Portugal. You can see some of that turquoise coming through. So again, like I would not clean this or touch it because I know if I were to keep it, I wouldn't want anything done to it. I love it dirty and dark and all of that stuff. So that will be on there as well. Um, I found this to DIY. And keep in mind, you guys, I am DIYing it, but after I DIY it, um, it will be posted on my website for sale. So I don't know when I will DIY it, but you will see me DIY these in my regular videos. So look at how fun this is. And people, some people get mad about the whole silver thing and painting it. But to be honest, if you're going to give it new life and somebody wasn't going to use it and it could end up in a landfill, then I say paint it and give it new purpose instead of letting it go to waste. This one does say Hol holiday imports, tarnish protected silver plate, do not use polish, cleaning with damp cloth made in Japan. This is a pretty heavy piece. So maybe I'll list it on the website and then if nobody buys it, I will DIY it. And I do not have a price on this one, so I don't know how much I pay for it. I found this for me. It is just a wood bowl for $2.99. Again, I don't know where I'm getting, like, I have another wood bowl somewhere, you guys. And I just keep thinking when my house is actually done eventually watch I'm going to change once my house is actually done I'm going to have a totally different style but I found this for $5.98 it's vintage modern Thomas O'Brien I'll have to look that up don't know but six dollars and this thing is huge and of course for like display put greenery in here I mean whatever I've even seen um on Pinterest, somebody got this and did a huge vignette with um, like a stand-up bunny greenery in here and moss and little Easter eggs and stuff. So that's an idea for these as well. And I've been seeing these everywhere. Like I said, I have another one somewhere. Where's my stuff? It's probably outside. I don't know. But I thought this would be cute for, again, like so like put a bar of soap in here you could either cut or cut pieces um up from a bar of soap and put the cubes in here you could do like a little washcloth a little um bar of soap and then like a little sprig of flowers in there so that's that was where i was going with that this you guys i'm keeping sorry i wish i knew where the other one was and then again if john doesn't want these i will list these I don't know if I will list them separately or as a trio, but um, these oil cans, you guys, they're so old and so gross. And that is what makes them absolutely perfect. And this one was $6.99. It was like the first thing I saw when I walked in. This one has some kind of like etching on the top, but I cannot tell what it is because it's covered in oil. And that is $6.99. And then I found this one. Are those not cool? Like if maybe you're a collector or your husband or something. My husband um, loves cars and all that stuff. So that's what I thought. Like, look at, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so dirty and amazing. Like, oh, 
That one was $6.99 too. And this one was $5.99. And how unique is this one? The blue and then the yellow on there. Oh my gosh. I just love how nasty they are. Nasty. All right. So we'll see if John wants those. If he doesn't, then those will go as well. Now, I need your guys' help. Tell me why this has three lanterns. This is for John and I. And John actually found it. And we actually are not going to use the base. So this is what it looks like, right? These are glass lanterns, but it came with three of them. So you can see there's hooks, right? One, two. There is no other hook on here, like, or like, a place where it looks like maybe another hook broke because it came with three lanterns. And this is what the lanterns look like. And they're all glass, all of the glass is intact and it even has the same hanger, but there's nowhere to hang the third one. So it's just really odd, but John thought it would be really pretty to get these and then during spring and summer, put them in our willow tree and have solar lights in them. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And then the rack, we can actually use, oh, there's the wood bulb. The rack, I was like, this would look so beautiful on the porch and hang planters from it. So that was only $14.99, you guys. Don't miss out on the bigs in the thrift stores because those are usually priced pretty low because they want to get rid of them. So we have that. And then I couldn't miss out on this. Excuse me, a lot of talking. This cap. I couldn't. Look at how pretty. So there is some chips like her little face or his face, whoever you are. Them, there. I don't know the proper term. It's fine. And then it looks like somebody made it. But look at those eyes. And this thing is heavy. This is a heavy piece. Like, I don't know what this is made of, but it is thick and it is solid. It's like a rock. And I just thought that that was a very, very pretty cap. And I don't know how much I paid for it. Um, Because there's no tag. All right. We're kind of hunkering down you guys don't tell me don't ask me why i paid so much for this it was 5.49 and it's probably something so generic but i thought it could look really beautiful painted in gray with white wax i thought it would just be really pretty as a little trinket display you know like in the front room or to put your key on or something like that so i paid 5.49 and then i found these and again I just found them for like my own house. I'm envisioning like the woods, neutrals and things like that when we actually start decorating. And so I found these, they were $2.49 and they, they're fair, they're modern. I don't know where they came from. I don't know. They still have like the tags on them, but they were $2.49. And again, something that like you can put in the bathroom on top of your vanity or in the kitchen near the sink or bookshelves on top of books with a little bit of sprig of greenery coming out of them. But for $2.49, I didn't think that was a bad deal. And I thought that they were really cute and kind of went with all of this wood stuff I was going for. I also found some more flannels. So my flannels do very well at the booth. Well, the one set that I put in there. And I have a bunch more that need to go there. So I found this St. John's Bay, which actually bleaches very well. And I liked it because it had this purple in here. And it was big and tall. Because we all know, us ladies, we ain't all created the same. We all have, we, we have some curves. We have some boobies. So I always try to make sure that I have a wide range of sizes. And the color was awesome. I thought this color was unique too. And I really wanted to see how it would either bleach or look with color out. And it's just by Hobbs Creek. And I like, it's it looks tan here, but it's more of like a mossy green. So I found that I usually will not spend more than $7 on a flannel. This one was 5 
$6.79 and this one was $6.29. You all, I must have really liked the color of this because I usually will not spend that much. And then look at how gorgeous this one is. This was $6.29 and it's just a Target one, but I always look at the colors and envision how it's going to bleach and all the cotton does bleach differently so I might get a yellow tone out of this I might get an orange tone and if I use color out or white out or whatever it's called then I could completely make this white but I thought the color on this was beautiful and it'll make for a great flannel and let's see we only got three more things you guys and then we are done and happy shopping I found this and I will post it online. If it doesn't sell within a couple of days, then I am going to put it in my booth because I think the vibe will fit there. But I couldn't believe I found this. Look at how gorgeous this is. It's a knitted blanket, has like this Western theme to it. I'm trying not to get it on the floor. Beautiful colors. Like this one is a lighter like brown, dark brown, and then the turquoise and a cream. No holes in it, no stains that I could find. And the pattern goes all the way down. Like this is gorgeous. If you have like a leather, like little chair in your living room or something and draping this over it, oh my gosh, that would look so stunning. And it's pretty, I mean, I'm 5'9". And that's touching the floor and it's still over the camera. So this is pretty big and I loved it. Like I would keep it myself, but it doesn't really go with the vibe. So it'd be like a, a, blah, 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 a blanket that goes in the closet and it doesn't need to be in a closet. It needs to be like out for somebody to enjoy and see because it was made beautifully so pretty and like I said no holes no stains at least none that I could see um last things I found were 50% off at Salvation Army and it was this these are just so easy to paint and distress and they always come out looking absolutely stunning so anytime I find something like this with a lot of detail I purchased it, spray some shellac on it, paint it, and we're good to go. So this will be up on my website soon because I envision it for spring. It even has like the little thing for the top. So I paid $2 for this. And then I found this and I could not believe it was the price it was. And it was 50% off because it was green tag. So this was marked $4.99. So this was only $2.50. And I don't know if I want to keep it because we do need to update our, like we keep our coffee in a tin like this, but mine is like an old glass vintage one with like a red top on it. And I don't know if I want to update it with this one or what. It smells like, oh, it had dog treats in it for sure. Oh yeah. That's dog treats or cat treats or something. Woo. So I thought that was really cool. Doesn't say what brand it is. It looks like it's like a little chipped on the bottom, but seriously for 250, I do not care. And lastly, which these won't be on the website. If you guys want me to start selling stuff like this on the website, let me know. But this is for the booth. Um, <clears throat> so since my flannels have been selling well there, and I've also been picking up like little sweaters or cardigans and denim from savers and then selling it in my booth because i'm trying to you know build outfits for people to see all of the jeans that i've put in there have sold the flannels have sold and all of the cardigans have sold so i'm like oh, am i missing like an opportunity here so i bought like a few pairs of shoes that i was like these will look cute with the flannels and the jeans so that I could style. And I think they're very in trend right now. And I could sell them for double what I paid for them. So these are actually by Gianni Benny. And these can range from anywhere from like 60 to over $100. And they were in great, great condition. I look at the soles of the shoes to make sure they're not worn down on the edges. Look at these. Like somebody didn't even wear those. 
So these I got for $6.99. So I'll probably just double the um, amount and put these in my booth. And then I also found these, which y'all, I wasn't paying attention to the brand, which I should have, because these ended up just being Time and True, the Walmart brand. So I'm not going to probably get as much for them. They were $6.99. Um, I should have paid attention because there was um, another set that was not Time and True that I should have got. But they were in great condition. So like I said, even if I sell them for $14, I'm still doubling my money and I'm able to create an outfit out of them. I got two of those in a size eight. So that's a size eight, a size eight. And then I found these, which I thought would look really cute with flannels too. So I found these and again, perfect condition. That's just my dog hair. These were $6.99. The heels aren't even worn. And how cute would those be with some skinny jeans? And then these as well, I thought were so fun. These were $5.99. These are nine and a half and these are 10. So I wanted like a range of sizes, but I'm going to start out with four pairs of shoes in there and just see if they do well. And if they do well, maybe my booth needs to turn in another direction. But you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I will usually either take you with me or I will show you what I've thrifted. All of this stuff that I said would be on the website should be on the website. And um, shipping will take me, I say from the time, it'll take me a week to ship out. So give me a week. Y'all know I'm crazy busy around here. So give me a week. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you got some ideas of what you can DIY with thrifted finds. And I hope there's some of the stuff that you love that you want me to send to your home. So have an amazing day and I will see you back here again for Thrifted Thursday next week.